Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. And while we do have a flood watch, which starts tomorrow evening into Friday and, and certainly some uh, widespread rain, I don't think we're looking at the kind of excessive rain that we've had with previous rainstorms where we've had four or five, even six inches of rain. But we're still going to keep an eye on local rivers and streams and things like that. Uh, New Bedford now, you can see widespread rain, uh, ice and snow last night. Temperatures tonight are on the rise through the uh, upper 30s to middle 40s, and it will stay rain right on through at least tomorrow morning. Morning, and then it starts to shut down briefly tomorrow afternoon and then another round of rain uh, tomorrow night and on into uh, Friday morning. Uh, potential for basement flooding. You know, if you've had this issue in the past, we've had a very wet winter. That that chance is there. That's not to say that every basement is this is going to happen, but the ground is very, very saturated. We've had a wet winter and it's not just the rain that's coming down and the snow that's melting. It's what's going on underneath the foundation, what we call the groundwater. Those that that water table has been quite high. If you have a, a well, then you're familiar with groundwater and the water table. So we can just take a cross section of the um, of the ground and you know when we're in a drought you know the water table that groundwater is very very low and then when we have excessive amounts of rain and pre precipitation like we've had all winter long that water table is high and so that water table rises towards the surface i mean water is heavy you know a cubic foot of water weighs 60 pounds so it creates pressure it can create pressure on your foundation and sometimes the water can kind of sneak in through the bottom of the foundation so if you had a history of basement flooding you know, something you want to keep an eye on next couple of days. Now, for the Patuxent River, you've been through some very difficult times over the last couple of months. Uh, at forecast to rise to minor flood stage tomorrow night, Friday morning, maybe borderline moderate, but at least minor flooding with the anticipation of the rain that we're expecting. However, it not anticipated to be up in this category, which is kind of major or severe. This was very significant, the last two flooding episodes. It's more in this category of minor to moderate. So any flooding obviously is not good, but if there's any good news out of all of this is that it doesn't look severe or significant in terms of very high water levels, but we're going to watch the uh, those rivers very closely. That would include um, the Wood River down in Hope Valley. A Blackstone, bigger river should be okay. Mid to upper 30s to 41 in Providence, unseasonably mild. You see that rain that's working in with ice and snow in northern New England. So once this little area of rain moves offshore later tomorrow morning, we get into a little bit of a lull and then another round across the deep south is going to arrive uh, tomorrow night into Friday morning. So we take this into the future rain overnight through tomorrow morning. Then notice it just sinks off to the south. We get into a bit of a lull. We remain cloudy tomorrow afternoon. That second batch of rain arrives later tomorrow night. And then here we are Friday morning starting off wet, but then we push this offshore by Friday afternoon, Friday evening. It dries out Saturday looks cloudy but dry and that's the pick day this weekend because there's more actually rain and snow in the forecast for Sunday. What a very active weather pattern. Rainfall amounts now through Friday morning up to an inch. If there's any good news with this is that that is stretched out over 48 hours. So it's not coming down all at once, but still significant enough and with saturated ground. That's why the weather service issued the flood watch. So for tomorrow morning rain, especially early in the morning by 11 AM, it's shutting down and then during the afternoon, mainly cloudy, perhaps the look of rain, but staying dry upper 40s to lower 50s. And then that second round of rain is arriving Thursday night into Friday morning. All right, Saturday is cool and dry. Watching Sunday with some interest starting off as rain may turn over to snow Sunday night into Monday morning. Stay tuned. Uh, cooler the second half of the weekend. Mike and Shannon.